what is going on today? WJ Huckler coming at you here, and as you could tell by my loaded up desk here, we got a lot of stuff to unbox today. So, this might take a little longer than usual, although not really because the review on the Yukon, if you're watching this, if you're watching this, and I'm assuming already that you got ahead and launched the uh, unveil and review and test drive on the Yukon, if you haven't, I, I encourage you to pause this. And then go ahead and check out that video back on my page, and then come back and watch this. So, with that figured out, first thing I wanted to talk to you guys about today, is you remember the last time I did an unboxing video, I had a crappy old uh, sewing machine that nobody had used it down here in 40 plus years. So, I helped my aunt out by cleaning out her junk room, and we were able to get this nice decent desktop computer to use. Not only does it allow me to uh, put all my junk and videos on there for you guys to edit and all that good stuff, it allows me to have a nice background for you guys to look at. But today you probably guys won't get to see much of this because we get a lot of this to unbox. So, let's go ahead and get started here, shall we? So, the one thing we wanted to do, first thing we're going to unbox, as you guys remember the last time, when we had the van, we did a 20-inch nightlight light bar along with the wiring. Um, with the van, I had done that installation video, and between transferring them between my laptop and the computer desk behind me, that video got lost somehow. I have no idea where the hell it went. So I went ahead, and we got ourselves another one. So, like I had said before, we did... The switch, which is nice, it plugged ever so nicely into that cigarette lighter, which you guys saw in the review of the van. So this one is going to get installed, if you guys remember from the review on the Yukon, above the fog lamp button, there is an empty switch. So I'm going to take that panel off, and we're going to put this switch in its place, so we can uh, have our light bar wired in. So that's the switch. They also give us, in the bag, the wiring connectors. They also give us a very nice diagram on how to wire the bar in, which I had to use last time because I'm an idiot and can't figure much out. So then in here, we got the wiring itself, which is kind of slick. It's already got the relay built in, which is nice also has the built-in fuse already and you got all the connections you'll ever need to plug this thing right in and plug the switch in the only thing you got to really do is decide where you want to mount the light bar which we're going to take a look at here in a minute and decide where you're going to put the switch and wire it in so I'm going to go ahead and put this back in the bag if it'll get back in there nice Okay, the diagram can go back in there. Switch can go back into this little home. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the actual light bar, shall we? So, you guys remember that I was very skeptical the first time, but I am not no more after mounting it on the van and it survived to through a winter. Just like the last one, this thing is heavy duty construction, heavy duty gauge wiring. This thing is extremely nice. You guys can have a look there. Very nice light bar. Heavy duty. It's like a dumbbell. I could get my exercise doing this. But, if you guys need a very heavy duty light bar that is going to survive through any element you can put it through, I highly encourage you guys to go check out Nightlight. I will have a... Um, a uh, link in the description to their website as well as their products on Amazon which is where I ordered this one from. Also in the kit they include all the screws and brackets and bolts you'll ever need to install this thing on your vehicle. No matter what you're installing it on. Say a Yukon, a Dodge pickup truck, a minivan, whatever. Whatever you're gonna put it on. It does that for you. Okay? So we got that, so that we can put away. And um, also, 
these are all going to have their own separate installation videos too. So keep your eyes out for them coming soon. Put that off to our side. Now, as you guys remember, in the Yukon review, I said that I hate the, um, the stupid, ugly black insert on the grill. So what I did is, I went to Walmart, my local Walmart, I bought a thing, a roll of blue painter's tape, so we can mask off the emblem if we need to, and I went out and got a big can of chrome colored paint. Four bucks. And you get 25% more versus the smaller can for the same amount of money. Hmm, wonder which one I would buy. The one I bought. Okay, we're going to take a look at this guy here in a minute. Okay, so you guys remember, back when, right, when we first did the unveil, I ordered a bullet grill for that. Okay, unfortunately, as soon as I uploaded that video, this guy showed up. Now, this is the one that I did order for the van. However, this thing is going to fit the Yukon anyway. There's going to be about 5 or 6 inches on both sides of the grill that are going to show regular black. So that's why we're going to go ahead and paint the grill first, and then we're going to install this on top. I think it'll look very wonderful. I tried it on the van. It works slick. I wasn't going to include it, though. This is going to say if I... Since we're going to use this from the van, this is going to save me 55 bucks. Okay, this is very nice, heavy duty, and eh, bends a little bit, but hey, it works. It's going to look sweet on that Yukon. In the kit, they also give you the hardware you're going to need to mount it on the grill. Now, I tried test fitting it on the Yukon, and we're going to have to drill four holes. As you guys can see here on the back side, they give us the four holes to mount it on the grill. Uh, excuse me. Along with the screws and brackets. So, we're going to have to drill a hole, which when we go to wash it to prepare the grill for paint, we're going to go ahead and we're going to take my drill and we're just going to pre-drill the four holes. And then as soon as the paint dries, we're going to go ahead and throw that on there. So that's going to look nice. So that's there. So that can go off to the side over here. Now, also you guys remember when we did the... Uh, review on the Yukon. I had mentioned that the factory fogs are broke. So, when I was in Walmart getting the paint and all this other stuff, I went ahead and picked up a set of these cheapies. Yes, I know they're cheap. Whatever. I think they're going to work just fine. They were cheaper than a set of factory replacements. The thing about these is... Throw that off to the side. These... I think are just going to mount ever so nicely as you guys, I don't know if you could tell, but they're down below there on the brackets. I think those are going to mount nice and easy on the plastic. Included in the kit, they give you the wiring, the diagram, and the screws, and the switch. But I don't think we're going to use the switch. I think we can just wire this right into the factory switch on the that's already in the dash. So this is going to get an installation video as well. And last but not least, I wasn't, I was looking on Amazon, and it is $155 to get a soda toy mirrors for the Yukon. So I wasn't really willing to pay that. So what I did instead was, I went ahead and I ordered a set of mirror extenders for the Yukon. Put one on the box. Move the plastic piece. As you guys can tell, even though these are plastic, they're going to work excellent. So, the other reason for the masking tape is I'm going to stick a piece of cardboard over the mirror and I'm just going to tape it off and we're going to paint them chrome to go with our chrome grill and eventually chrome door handles. Okay? So, these are also going to get their own separate installation video as well as their own separate painting video. So, you guys are going to be really sick of me by the end of next week. By the time we get back from Ashland to do all this installation, you guys are really going to be sick of me, I promise. Okay? So, 
that kind of completes our little uh, unboxing for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, maybe now I can give you a better look at the computer behind me now. This is just a basic Dell desktop. Really nothing fancy about it. It works. Got a picture of the Intrepid on the background there, so you guys have something decent to look at. But yeah. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Please smash the hell out of that like button. Comment if you choose. And subscribe. Leave me a thumbs up. Have a good one, you guys. Stay classy much.